That's right, Tina. And this author is actually going to teach us the three mistakes Steven Spielberg, Oprah, and Shaq would never make when they went back to school, and neither should you. Welcome author of Lifelong Learning, Daniel Marcos. Thank you very much. Daniel, I'm so glad you're joining us this morning. Thank you for inviting me. Now, before we get into the three mistakes we need to avoid, let's really start with who we're talking about. You refer to them as new traditional students. What does that mean? So, Steven Spielberg, Oprah, and Shaq, once they were rich and famous, they went back to school, and that's beginning to be a new norm. Today, 67% of post-secondary students are what we call an adult learner. They have kids, they have jobs, they have other demands in life, and they cannot just concentrate in, in the school. So it's happening that it's great that we're going back to school. When I was young, my father used to tell me, hey, go to a good college, get a good degree, get a job, and you're set for life. That's not the new norm today. We're usually going back to school to get retrained in all the new technologies, new developments, and I think it's great, but we're making a lot of mistakes when we come and do that. No, I think you, you touched on it quickly, but again, tell us just how much of the population is affected by this. 67% of post-secondary students today, wow. they have other demands. And that's common. You, you see people working and doing all this stuff. They have kids younger. So it, you have to balance other demands in life. And just studying is not the normal today. See, now that's a higher number than I was expecting you to say. I, I, it's, I think it's getting even higher. Yeah. Uh, I got numbers of three years ago. I think it's even getting higher. Wow. Uh, now we're having what they call the, the, the sandwich parents, that they take care of their kids and their parents. That's beginning to be very common. So I don't, uh, I think it's getting a little bit higher than that, but that's, a, that's the statistics that we have today. Okay, so then we really want to set these new traditional students up for success. How do that's they correct. do that? So first, there's two mistakes they're making. Uh, the first mistake is they're not really doing the research to select the right teacher or content. They go to a local community college and said, hey, teach me business. You, you have to make your homework and really want to, want to know what you want to learn. Uh, the second one is really buying a course or a book and never go through it. 97% of all online courses today purchase, the student never goes to the end. Oh, wow. Other demands in life come and then you get distracted and then you don't do it. And the third thing is never implementing. They go, they, take, they read a book, take a class, and then they never really put it to reality. So I develop a formula that I call this formula for success. The T is for teacher. You have to really do your homework and select, select the best teacher or content. The way I do it, I go to Amazon.com, I go to the category that I want to learn, and I research the, for, the top 20 books. There's always a list of the top 20 of each category in Amazon. So I go and do my research and really understand which is the best content and teacher of that. Two, the H is for hybrid model. I go to really look for the best program regarding that content. And it's proven that the hybrid model is the most powerful. It has three components. Number one is learning directly from the thought leader or the person that built the content. When you go to college, a professor read a book and tried to give you their format of the book. Today with online, go and learn directly from the source. Uh, two, you have to have discussions with all the students that are going through the same issues that you are, how they're really getting the content, how they're uh, planning to implement it, all that. And then third, have a guidance of implementation. Now you're already working, you have to be able to implement. So the eye of this is implementation. You have to really implement. Learning without implementation goes to waste. And the last one is speed. It's something very, very important. The faster that you implement some knowledge, the better your brain is going to retain it. So the best training out there, they give you a little bit of content, and then they ask you to go and do something, implementing what you learn. And then you learn a little bit more and implement, learn and implement. If you're able to do that, you will be set for success. Well, I love that you really are, the focus is to set us up for success. You've told us the things to avoid. You've given us a simple formula to follow to ensure that success. So sure. if, is uh, your book going even further into that success that we're so striving for? We, we have an a online school. We train uh, adults in 40 countries. And we've been seeing this over and over and over. And it's incredible. We are based in the U.S. Just 40% of our students are in the U.S. 60% of our students are international because they love the content in the U.S. and the colleges of the U.S. and they want to come to a U.S. university or, or system or educational company. And, but we see that they come and they buy a class and then we have research that they haven't used the class in a week. Mm -hmm. So we email them back and they say, oh, I'm sorry, something happened in school or whatever. Can I delay my class? Can I do this? Whatever. So we're seeing that it's a common thing. And I try to do some research. How can I help my students set up for success? And that's what I'm trying to teach more people around. Well, I think that's so incredible. So anybody watching right now that's interested, where, who, where can we get that? Uh, so our company is called Growth Institute. Mm -hmm. we, we're specialized in mid-sized companies that they want to accelerate. There's a lot of great content for the Fortune 2000s. There's a lot of great content for startups. There's not that much content for mid-market companies. Okay. 
and those scale-ups are the ones that are really impacting the economy. So that's where we focus. Well, I think this is great, Daniel. I'm so glad you joined us today to give us all of the information. And now I'm going to let our viewers know how they can get in touch with you directly to get even more information. Thank you very much. Thank you so much. Now, to learn more, visit danielmarcos.tv and growthinstitute.com or call 1-800-975-5108.